Hey, Walrus Squad, today we're going to go over the best video settings for Halo 3 on PC that you should be using to help you be a better player, get higher FPS, and just all around enjoy the experience even more. So let's jump into it right now. So starting off real quick, we're in a custom game here on Construct, and we're going to open up our settings tab real quick. We're over on the video. Let's take a look at what we have. So I have it set at 96 field of view, uh, and on console it is very coned in. It's nice to have the wider field of view on PC, but you still want that magnified look, especially when you're trying to shoot those long distance BR shots. So I have my field of view currently set at 96. Vehicle field of view set at 105, since aiming long distance obviously isn't as important when you're driving a vehicle. Uh, gamma at five, it, and you could adjust this with depending on how bright you want your screen. But let's get down to what's really gonna matter here. Full screen window mode is what I recommend. That's gonna get you the best FPS. Native resolution, that's all grayed out because for the most part, as you can see by your resolution settings here, we are 1920 by 1080. V-Sync, I recommend turning this off. And here's why. If we read down at the bottom what it says here, the game will run at as many frames per second as the hardware allows. This could cause screen tearing if limit frame rate is off. So when you turn it on, it says the game will render frames per the refresh rate of your display. So for most monitors, or for me, it's going to be 60 FPS. It's going to give you more of a console feel if you have V-Sync. But remember this about V-Sync, guys. The important thing to remember is most of the time on most games, especially shooters, it causes input lag. So when we have V-Sync on here, let's go ahead and save the settings and go to the game. Now, you can't tell, but there is a bit of a delay when I swipe my mouse quickly to the side. There is a bit of delay, and on the top left of the screen, you can't see it, but the Xbox Console Companion app has my FPS displayed, and it's solid at 60 FPS. It does not go above that. So VSync limits your frames to 60 FPS, and it also causes input lag. So I absolutely recommend turning VSync off. That's going to uncap your frame rate and give you, uh, or, or allow you to uncap your frame rate and give you the best, uh, highest frames possible. HUD anchoring, I just leave this on centered. All that does is if you have an ultra wide screen, it might make a difference if you want to change it to edge. But for the majority, if you have a 27 or a 24 inch monitor that you're playing on, you want to keep it on centered. Unified metal, metal display, that's up to you, obviously. Frame rate limited, uh, frame rate limit, turn it to unlimited is what I recommend. Now graphics quality, this is what's going to affect your FPS. This is what I wanted to get to and for you guys to remember really quickly here. I have it on enhanced because the graphics just look incredible when we are at uh, enhanced. As you can tell, it's very smooth, very clean. Now, since I turned VSync off, the FPS counter at the top left of my screen shows uh, anywhere from 200 to 250. Sometimes it gets a little above 250, but that's gen generally where it stays between 200 and 250 FPS with the enhanced graphics. If we go back to the settings, go down to the bottom here, let's turn the graphics quality down to the original so it's matches the original experience back on the console. So let's go ahead and hit back and save our settings. Let's see what that does to our FPS. And now that's reading just slightly higher. It's getting above to anywhere from 250 to 300, 311, 334, 341, back to 287. So that does increase your FPS a little bit. But remember, once you reach a certain point, uh, the FPS increasing isn't going to do a whole lot for you as far as uh, helping you be a better player because your eyes can only process so many frames per second now if we go back into the settings and go down to the bottom let's change it down to performance mode so that just allows it to the, have the graphical quality is reduced for best performance so let's save the settings there and then check our fps now you can tell it might be difficult for you to tell but there is a slight decrease in graphics quality on some of the lines and edges of long distance objects but now our fps what are we sitting at 280 right now 294 290 268, 301, 271. So not a huge difference between uh, regular and uh, performance-based uh, graphics quality. So I just like keeping that on enhanced just because it makes the game look really well and it really does not affect your frames all that much. If you want, I would recommend you can turn it down to the original if you want. I wouldn't go down to performance unless you have a lacking PC that isn't able to handle those graphics. And of course, playing at 250 plus FPS is going to make you a better player overall. It's going to improve your aim just because you're getting more information fed to your brain about exactly how to pin down an enemy or to aim on those longer distance shots. 
It's just going to make a better experience for you, and you're going to be a better Halo player because of it. If you found this video helpful and want to learn more tips and tricks and Halo news in future videos, click that red subscribe button right now and click my Twitch link in the description to come hang out with me live four days a week over on Twitch. Walrus Squad, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.